I'm David Hinchy. This is my informative speech on football helmets. American football is a high contact sport that has been around for over a century. And players aren't at the same risk as in the past since improved football helmets rules have made it safe to participate in the sport and might even be safer than other sports that have collisions. This is important to you because football is considered unsafe. Since I've played football, I have great concern about my health and others since I've been playing the sport for a long time. Therefore, I'm very interested in researching football safety. Today, we will discuss football helmets, their evolution, then look at helmet style, and finally describe the safety features of new football helmets now. Let's talk about early football helmets. Helmet evolution. While football has been around for a century, helmets have really improved in about the last 25 years. According to Second Skull's article, Evolution of Football Helmets in 2022, the first use of football headgear dates to 1869, when George Rose Barclay, the Lafayette College halfback, started to use straps and earpieces to protect his ears. The first face bars were used in the 1950s, and they were eventually banned in 2004 with a punter named Scott Player uh, being the last one grandfathered in. Um, more players prefer, uh, prefer... Now that we know about football helmets history, let's talk about football helmets style. According to the Inter Entertainment Elks video, the evolution of football helmets on September 25th, 2018, most football helmet styles differ from the viewpoint of the NFL commissioner to get banned, including visors, face masks, and uh, maybe it's just a whole nother story that we don't want to get into today. More players prefer style over functionality, such as Antonio Brown. Now that you know about what football helmet style is, let's discuss the safety features of new football helmets. Football helmets are the front line of defense when it comes to protecting football players. A video from Antique Football and Football Helmet Concussion Testing, Leather vs. Modern, on June 22, 2016, runs a test with a Noxay drop test in which football helmets, football helmets have to pass to be put out in the market. He found that a 1930s leather helmet can only reduce concussion, concussions by 23%, while modern football helmets as early as the 2000s can prevent concussions by 78%. They drop it from the front, the back, the side, the top to make sure that every single side will protect them from the head. The, the Rydell Axiom is different from other helmets for a few reasons. It uses the true fit system where they scan your head and get every single contortion out of the way. Um, it has more flex points on each side so the helmet can bend and absorb impacts. And it has an impact report system that can tell the coaches when a player might got might have gotten a concussion from a play. Now you have better knowledge of helmet safety. Let's wrap things up. Players aren't at the same risk as in the past since improved football helmets and rules have made it safe to participate in the sport. It might even be safer than sports that have other collisions. We discussed football helmets and their evolution. Then we looked at helmet style and finally describe the safety features of new helmets. Football helmets will improve and concussion risks will keep getting lower. Any questions? Get another minute in, you're only at three. All right, any questions about football helmets? What's your favorite type of helmet? Um, I really appreciate the Rhino Axiom. Um, I think that's gonna be the future of football, not just airing up the, the ear pads and everything. I think that really will prevent a lot of concussions from happening. Although I don't really appreciate the visor because it gets scratched up pretty easily, and ours needs replacing, but we won't we won't get that anytime soon. Um, I guess I can talk a little bit more about this right here. So in the 1950s, Paul Scott came uh, to the Browns head coach and said he had an idea on how to get plays to players faster. So the radio comm was introduced in 1950, and um, it was eventually banned by the NFL commissioner for being different. Any other questions? Have you heard about the visors for deaf people that are coming with like the words on them? 
the GK5, it's like a little monocle right here, right? Yeah, and it lets you like read a bit so you can't like hear. I remember showing up to Coach Lucas and thought it was the stupidest thing. All right. Well, that's all. Thank you guys for showing up. I really appreciate it.